Hi, my name's Chris Dames. In this video today, I'm going to talk about why you might not need fee-based professional financial advice. The reality is that not everybody needs financial advice. We know that the clients who choose to work with us, particularly if they're at a period of time in their lives where they're approaching a transition point and wondering what to do next, advice is really valuable. Having somebody sit down with you, guide you through your options, help you understand what's going to work best for you and tailor make a solution designed for your goals, it's perfect. But not everybody's in that boat. And today I want to talk about the three reasons why advice might not be right for you. The first reason why financial advice might not be right for you is the cost and the value it adds. Because professional advice does come at cost. Now there's loads of reasons for this and if you check out our pricing page we'll talk about why advice potentially may seem quite expensive but the reality is that many individuals, for many individuals the price of advice outweighs the value. Different financial planners work in different ways however typically what we find is that the value is really added to clients where they're at that particular transition point in their life and they've already built a significant level of wealth. For us, we feel that we add value at about 300,000, 250 to 300,000 pounds plus. Now, financial advice might not be as valuable if you're starting your financial journey. Financial advice might not add value if you're in a position where you're starting to build your wealth and you need to look at lower cost, easier to use options and, and, they're, and they're available. If you're in the early stages of building wealth and you're not at that transition point, you're just accumulating your assets at the moment, and particularly if your needs aren't particularly complicated, financial advice might not add value to your life today. The second reason might be that actually what you need isn't advice at this point, you just need more guidance or information. And in a previous video, I talked about the wide range of um, options you've got to get that extra guidance and information, and we'll put a link in the, uh, in the details below so you can find that, uh, a, link, a link to that video. Um, but certainly what we'd always recommend you do before you seek advice even if you feel you need advice is to make sure that you're really well informed and there's plenty of places to do that so the third reason you might not need financial advice is because all you need to do is simply buy a financial product in the old days in the 80s 90s and noughties uh, basically buying a financial product was done primarily through a financial advisor Nowadays, that's not what financial advisors or planners do. What financial advisors or planners do is make sense of your money, particularly if your situation's fairly complicated, and make sure you make the right decisions for you, giving you a strategic plan and the tactical steps along the way. Now, in your situation, you might not need that, but it's certainly worth considering saving money for the longer term and potentially investing money that you're not using. To do that, you don't need to speak to a financial advisor or a planner anymore. You can do that direct. So that's three reasons why you may not need a financial advisor and planner. There might be others. Feel free to leave those in the comments below. And I'll see you soon on another video.